given that the first three terms of a geometric se series are 12 cos theta, 5 plus 2 sine theta, and 6 tan theta, show that 4 sine squared theta minus 52 sine theta plus 25 equals 0. So in a geometric sequence, we've got a common ratio. That means there's something you multiply the first term by to get the second term, and that's the same thing you multiply the second term by to get the third term. So given that that's the case, the second term divided by the first term must be equal to the third term divided by the second term. So 5 plus 2 sine theta divided by 12 cos theta must be equal to 6 tan theta over 5 plus 2 sine theta. Now we just need to get rid of the bracket, get rid of the fraction, sorry. So times both sides by the denominators. So we're going to have 5 plus 2 sine theta times 5 plus 2 sine theta equal to 6 tan theta times 12 cos theta. 6 twelves will be 72. Cos theta times tan theta. So cos theta times tan theta. Tan is sine over cos. So it's sine theta divided by cos theta times cos theta. They cancel out. Cos theta times tan theta is sine theta. So let's expand and simplify here. We've got 25 minus 10 sine theta plus, plus 10 sine theta plus another 10 sine theta plus 4 sine squared theta equals 72 sine theta. Move everything over to the left side. I'm going to write my squared term first. So 4 sine squared theta. 10 plus 10 minus 72 that's minus 52 sine theta plus 25 equals 0. And that is what we wanted. So given that theta is obtuse and measured in radians, so our calculator, the shift setup, shift setup, angles, into radians and it's obtuse so theta is between in radians so between 90 and 180 that's between pi over 2 and pi so it is theta is between pi over 2 and pi and we are we're going to solve so we've got we we'll just use the calculator for this. So we've got A, B, C. A is 4. B is negative 52. C is 25. It's a quadratic. So we'll just use the solving quadratics on the calculator. So equation or function, polynomial, degree 2. And then we've got 4 negative 52 and 25 so we've got 12.5 sine theta can be 12.5 but it can't or a half so sine theta it has to be between negative one and one so we want the half answer so we're going to shift sign shift sign the half Shift sine a half, and we get one sixth of a pi. That's too small. We don't want that one. We want the next answer. So for sine, it's 180 minus the first answer, or in radians, that's pi minus 
the first answer. So that's five, six, pi. So as theta is obtuse, theta must be five, six, pi. So that is our answer to part B, that's done. Part C, show that the sum to infinity can be expressed in the form k times 1 minus root 3, where k is a constant. So the sum to infinity, the sum to infinity is a over 1 minus r. a is the first term, r is the common ratio. So we know what theta is now, it's 5, 6 pi. So we can work out what a is and what r is. So I'm just going to store 5, 6 pi in the calculator. I'm storing it as a. And then I'm going to work out the first term. It's 12 cos of my answer. 12 cos a minus 6 root 3. So a is 12 cos. 5, 6 pi, which is minus 6 root 3. And the common ratio is the second term divided by the first term. So 5 plus 2 sine 5, 6 pi over 12 cos 5, 6 pi. So... 5 plus 2 sine a over 12 cos a. And that's negative root 3 over 3. So the sum to infinity is a negative 6 root 3 over 1 minus r, 1 minus, minus, so plus root 3 over 3. So it's not in the right form just yet. We need to get it in the right form. So let's, I think, times Multiply everything by 3 to get rid of the over 3 bit here. So that will be negative 18 root 3 over 3 plus root 3. And then we want to get rid of the denominator. So rationalize the denominator. And to do that, I'm going to multiply the bottom and the top by 3 minus root 3. So the sum to infinity is going to be negative 18 root 3 times 3, so negative 54 root 3 and negative 18 root 3 times negative root 3, that's going to be plus 54 over the denominator, which is going to be 9 minus 3 root 3 plus 3 root 3, which cancels, minus 3, so 9 minus 3, it's going to be 6. So the denominator is 6. So 54 over 6 is 9. So we've got minus 9 root 3 plus 9, which we can write the other way around. 9 minus 9 root 3. And factorize out the 9. 9 times 1 minus root 3. 